Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, so, there is a masculine out there, King of Cups reverse. You are headed right to some type of catastrophic event in your life that is going to humble you, include it with a group of people that you partner up with to destroy um, someone else. You betray someone heavily. This could be someone from your past with you showing up as a king of cups. Um, you went against, I don't know if it was someone that was that you were in a relationship with romantically or business relationship with someone you may have had a family with, but you betrayed this person heavily and it is something that's about to backfire on you. Uh, you're about to lose everything. You are headed absolutely for poverty and there is nothing you can do at this point to stop this karma from taking place. But whatever is about to happen to you is absolutely cat catastrophic. Um, it's going to be nothing short of disaster. Um, and the group, the group included, come on, Cynthia, get your mind together. The group included, there's a group behind the scenes that's been doing something and it's catching up to them, but someone is telling them to keep going. It's like someone is mentoring people or teaching people from afar on what it is to do uh, in regards to either blocking two people, blocking someone's work manipulating energies um, around someone or a group of people. There's a masculine they're trying to do this too, but he's too grounded for them to do it too. Um, and it is a feminine energy that is not in a community that they are doing this to. Um, so this is a comic group that are upset about some type of communication coming into you. Uh, some type of good news coming towards you. Um, it could be coming from a king of pentacles, king of swords. It doesn't matter. But these people are trying to block you from receiving some type of good news. This is something also they were trying to steal from you. Opportunities, your work, your your peace, you being uh, content within thyself and things of that nature. They've been trying to steal everything from you, basically. Your work, your money, uh, your home, from your, your foundation. Like They've been trying to destabilize you. There's a group of people out here that feel like they will never have peace unless... Or until they see you broke, busted, and disgusted out in the street, being rejected by every and anyone you come across. Um, and they have gone to an extensive length to make sure that you are in some type of state of poverty. There's a whole lot going on. I'm going to try to break this down um, in multiple different videos. So stay tuned. we got a lot of videos coming out because I'm really just trying to get over this, this group. Uh, listen. This karmic group has been collaborating for a long time to block two people from connecting or to block a divine feminine from receiving some type of offer or blessing or abundance, trying to steal something from a king of pentacles as well, and it's just not going their way. They've been very determined. Something has gone way too long. It has gone on for way too long, right? And it's out of hand. There's some situation too that has led to or is going to lead to some type of court case for an institution because there's a woman within an institution that just does not want someone there it's like the person that does not belong in the institution doesn't want the person that belongs in the institution there so it's like a position you qualify for that position she doesn't want you there or he doesn't want you there but they're there but they don't qualify for that position meaning they don't have the skills for that position but they want to make sure that you don't get there so it's someone doing something out of selfishness so they are destroying other people's lives, other people's finances and things like that, or their, 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 their future, the prosperity within their future or their prosperous futures out of selfishness because they have some type of hate towards you. They say you don't belong in an institution or a community, an industry, a field of work, whatever this is. This is just someone that's a bigot, basically. Um, so what they've been doing is blocking you from behind the scenes, basically bullying you from behind the scenes. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Someone has been causing a lot of manipulations about your work with a uh, 
the seven of cups out here followed by the eight of pentacles there's some, some type of illusion that has been going on about your work they don't want you being seen as someone that's skilled but you are skilled they don't want you being uh someone strong but you're too strong for these people there's something about your strength that is bothering these people excuse me why i turned the light on it's a little dark in here um but they don't want you uh to keep going with something they're trying to break you basically break your soul um and that's something they're not able to do this collaboration is coming to an end there could be someone that's advocating for you behind the scenes that you are not aware of but you will have wish fulfillment uh you will have peace just know that there are a bunch of narcissists behind the scenes trying to stop the truth from coming out about what it is they've been doing behind the scenes when it comes to trying to hinder your strength your tenacity your image basically your your personality who you are uh trying to dis uh dismantle your strength they don't want you protecting yourself they don't want you being seen as someone of high honor but this is exactly what you are so they've been trying to do something in the court system where it's that they're trying to hold on to something that belongs to you someone may be hiding some type of offer some, <clears throat> some type of letter some type of will a d or something that was supposed to be given to you and it has been being blocked in the court system or someone may have tried to do something legally and it's going to backfire you still have an offer coming in um from someone and they there are people behind the scenes that are extremely upset about this solid commitment that's being given to you uh, you could have a king of cups that's upset because this is someone you were in a relationship with before this is the person that has some type of catastrophic event coming towards him or is ahead of him this is someone you were in a relationship with in the past okay it was either very platonic or it was something romantical. Maybe you were best of friends. Maybe you had a family with this masculine. I'm getting that you may have had a family with this masculine because you're showing up as a queen of pentacles out here. So you were either a mo the mother of his child, his wife, or something of that nature. But you were very close to this person in some way or form. This person may have gotten bribed into uh, establishing a relationship with these people, collaborating with these people, and now he's living in some type of fear because there's some type of court case coming in that's going to land in your favor, Empress Energy, and it's going to end this karmic and toxic cycle uh, for you. Uh, while they're going through karma, they are very afraid of you receiving abundance, you receiving some type of offer, someone giving to you, someone establishing some type of relationship with you. It's bothering these people to think that you um, are going to be out here living a good life, uh, heal, balance, uh, working as a team with someone that's interested in working with you. Like they just don't want you living in a positive energy, a high vibrational energy. You're someone that's very high vibrational showing up as the queen of pentacles. You're very down to earth, grounded, wife material, mother material. You are the kind of woman that takes care of the home front and still takes care of business. You're like that woman in a man's life that they can be friends with and partners with business and pleasure like it's all in one so you may be someone's dream woman maybe he was someone that was uh into something else in the past and it has changed into what you are or maybe they weren't aware of who you were before but they are a little bit more acquainted with who you are and they're seeing you as a queen of cups queen of pentacles maybe a uh, empress energy but there's something they would like to tweak when it comes to maybe your personality. You may be a little bit too much of a recluse. So they're going to try to get you out of your shell. The Queen of Pentacles do tend to be people that are a bit of a recluse. They keep to themselves. They're not out looking for 10 million friends. One confidant is all, all they need as long as they can trust that confidant. That's all they need. They're not looking for a, a friendships with the whole block or the whole community whatever it is they're very like they're one-on-one -on -one person they don't want too many friends even if there are people around them that want to be that want to be friends with them they don't want to be friends with everybody it's said, well thank you so much for your kindness but you know i already have a friend that does that for me uh if ever anything changes i'll be sure to reach out to you that's the kind of person the queen of pentacles is they don't like being they don't like mingling with too many people they're too focused on their family firm your business and things like that things that pertain to them okay there's some type of prophecy playing out there may be a message that have been that may have been hindered maybe you were supposed to receive some type of communication or people were trying to block you from being seen there's the truth coming out about this so you could be someone with a picture source showing up here you could be someone that's on a social media platform and people have been doing things to block you from being seen and heard um 
Um, and this is something that's backfiring. I don't know if a group of people got comfortable doing something from behind the scenes and they didn't, they didn't think that they would be exposed, but there's some type of evidence that has exposed these people. Maybe they don't know, so that's why they, they keep going with something or they keep doing something. Um, but literally there is someone behind the scenes that is telling another energy what to do when to do it how to do it as far as blocking you uh, a, a line about you or getting into a system and doing something and it's going to backfire whoever this is that they're trying they're telling or they're teaching um grooming basically on how to do something they're going to end up in some type of court case and will lose everything okay did i say everything everything and they may have foresight of this and they're living in fear because they know they're in their they had a right for an ending okay and this is judgment by the spirit realm could be a king of wands that's going through this or it could be whoever they're teaching how to end you or cause illusions about you or whatever this is i don't know who it is but whoever they're teaching how to manipulate a system you're going to end up in some type of court case you will lose everything uh, your foundation, your finances, you may want to walk away from something because it's not going to end. Again, the death came out in the same way, the death, the judgment, king of wands. Okay? So I don't know if it's a king of wands that's been doing something or king of pentacles reverse that's been doing something. Whoever it is, you may want to stop and walk away while you can, while something is uh, still... I don't know, fixable or whatever the word is. Uh, basically, it's not too late for you to walk away from doing something. But if you want to keep going, by all means, keep going. It's your future. It's your life. You're free to do as you please. Uh, I don't know how much money you were promised. But when this, I'm telling you, when this court case comes out, you won't be like that. That money they were offering you won't be enough. It won't even be enough to cover your court fees and things like that. Like there's something the crazy ahead of you that's going to lead to you losing everything and i don't know why you compromise yourself in in this manner to this extent i don't know what they offer you it had to be like millions of dollars or something hopefully that's what it was but if it ain't in the millions you may want to drop the ball throw in the tower and skip to your loop down the yellow brick road and go focus on something else because whatever is coming for you a uh, baby baby hey, 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 hey. it ain't gonna be good i'm talking about exposure where like everybody knows some of these people may end up on tv on the news like some there's a community that has gotten so comfortable with doing something like they don't care they just think they're invincible there's nothing nothing can touch them no one can touch them they're untouchable baby ain't nobody untouchable there's evidence on you all there's someone in your midst i'm not going to expose him or her but baby they're about to humble you all in a way that you cannot even express okay ain't nobody untouchable nobody is untouchable someone is trying desperately to avoid a tower behind the scenes the tower is not avoidable the tower is an act of god it could be a queen of uh, swords reverse trying to avoid a tower baby that tower is already here i don't know what it is you're doing talking about you're you're trying to mend things you're trying to fix things uh try to uh, make sure things don't get worse than baby they're already you, like, like the what, what mm -hmm. the big bang baby it's already happening you can't stop it you're just making things worse for yourself you could be the one telling someone how to do something you're the mentor right behind the scenes telling either a masculine how to do something in the system um how to shadow ban or some the word shadow shadow ban how to shadow ban someone in a system so this has to do with social media that that page of source is actually absolutely applicable to this situation then because the word shadow ban is coming out you are the one teaching someone how to shadow ban another energy in a system whether it's tiktok facebook youtube instagram you're the the teacher you're the one teaching people how to do it. And you're someone that walks around pretending to be in the upright. Say, this is how you do it. As soon as they upload, get in the system. And you know, shimmy shimmy there, shimmy shimmy this, shimmy shimmy that. Uh, this, the, 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 the platform operators, they'll never know. Uh, you have a VPN on. Maybe the VPN ain't working. Somebody's IP address is out cold. I said something about a VPN. And I think that's why I mentioned this back, way back somebody's vpn while they were doing something was deactivated and i don't know if they didn't know that but your vpn is exposed because i had a flash of someone's it's like the vpn was on and then it was off and they were still in someone's system 
I don't know what kind of platform this is they're in. Either TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is. They didn't know the VPN had cut off. Somebody cut it off. So it's like a hacker being hacked. They don't know they're hacked and they're busy in there just tapping away. Tapping away. Uh, shadow ban this video. Shadow ban. Adding viruses to videos and things like that. Baby, the both of you, you and your teacher, <laughs> lockdown clink clink, about to lose everything. So your, your teacher is afraid of being exposed because this is someone that's a facade, being living and pretending to be something she's not for years, baby. About to be real humble. You said, oh, Maria, Elizabeth, this is what you've been doing the whole time? We thought you were in the upright, baby. Elizabeth ain't in the upright. Maria, Maria ain't in, Maria is a facade. Embarrassing. She's so embarrassing. She's even embarrassed of herself. So she's taking more actions to hide her malicious deeds behind the scenes because that's supposed to help. Guess what, Maria Elizabeth Tower is still coming for you. You are in some type of mental imprisonment. You, you're trapped in something and you're trying to figure out a way out of that trap. Baby, the truth is going to be exposing everything you've been doing, collaborating behind the scenes with a group of people to end and tarnish someone. You've cost the whole company a lot of money. Some type of court case, baby. Everything you've been investing in is leading to some type of court case for a company. And, oh, you're about to be in a lot of debt because once that company pays out what it is that you've caused them, you are in debt for the rest of your life. You may even get black blacklisted in an industry or just overall where you live, right? I think you are the one that's been out here blacklisting people through a third party because you don't want your you don't want to be attached to what it is you're doing you act from behind the scenes you say i'll pay him or tell him what to do no one will ever suspect that it is me it is i that is telling him what to do uh, baby you're about to be exposed you best you best <laughs> you best put two and two together and realize that the tower is right in front of you you cannot hide it you cannot stop it uh you thought you were you were crafty you ain't crafty. Court case. You see that chariot right here? Court case. Court case. Whoever you've been trying to stop a contract for, an offer for, some type of uh, generosity from coming towards, it's coming, baby. Their offer, their contract is intact. That queen of swords in the upright, unlike you, is intact. There's a gentleman behind the scenes that see that woman as someone of high honor, someone respectable, unlike you, okay? A positive energy is how he sees that woman. He sees her as a queen of cups, and she will be moving on to her destiny that you've been trying to block because you're jealous and insecure like the rest of the people that's been working with you. Someone, what I keep hearing is that, some, I'm not going to say if it's a woman or not, or man or not, but someone went deep within a group, an organization, just to figure them out. He said, God damn, they are low down and dirty. And the whole time, the organization didn't know this woman has been, oh, my bad. Listen, don't know if it's a man or a woman. Wink, wink. Anyways, uh, we are about to expose you. Uh, the whole time, they didn't know this person was watching them, studying them. So imagine going all out with your wickedness. Just being malicious, saying the most horrendous things about someone that you don't even know a goddamn thing about. Just making up lies. And this person knows the whole time that whatever you are saying is not consistent with this person you are talking to them about. Right? And they're just listening to you. They said, you know, Maria, she sells herself online. You know, Maria, she's illiterate. She's uh, incompetent. You know, Maria is mentally ill. I feel sorry for her. Isn't it sad? Uh, it's really sad. She's so beautiful, but you will never tell that she's mentally ill. I'm telling you, she's not even capable of doing the work we had her doing. Whole time, this heifer was sabotaging Maria from behind the scenes. Nobody knew what she was doing the whole time. But she's trying to farther the narrative because she's in some type of hot water. And she thinks the way to mend or fix things is to keep carrying something on. Keep lying. Keep fathering a narrative. Keep telling uh, another energy to keep sabotaging someone from behind the scenes. And he keeps doing it, not knowing that he's sabotaging himself. 
again, your VPN is not as secure. I don't know why people be so set on this VPN. This VPN service, baby. I, I will tell you firsthand, a hacker, if they want to get in your system, they're going to get in that system. They can dismantle that. So the hacker has been hacked. Let me write that down so we can add it to the title. Okay. The hacker has been hacked. The hacker has been hacked. Baby, I ain't joking with y'all. Since Source wants me to do the story on these people, finish it. Baby, I'm going to add my own. I'm going to add my personality to it. The hacker has been hacked. We're going to add some sauce. Of course, it's genuine sauce, just funny sauce. It ain't no dishonest sauce because I ain't about to be dishonest in nothing here. What I see is what I tell you. What I receive is what I tell you. I ain't making up nothing for anybody. Now, baby, this woman is in her mental. T scared, terrified. In some type of just, she, she's trapped. And she knows there's problems coming for her. This institution, baby, they're about to handle this woman. Gonna get pulled out of an institution. Oh, I'm telling you. Gonna get pulled out of an institution. Can never return. That would be them being generous, but you're still in debt to them. <laughs> it said, oh, you can't work here anymore, but about that bill. You know that billion dollar we had to pay that person because of defamation? Oh, yeah, we're going to need our money. How you going to pay? We don't care, but we're going to need our money on the first of each month. And if you don't pay, we're taking you to court. And if you don't pay, we're seizing all of your assets. And you can end up in a penitentiary. We don't care however way. We're going to get our money. Baby, you don't put yourself in some hot water. She's scared to be embarrassed. Embarrassment is the least of your worries uh, right now. It's the least of your worries. I tell you. Baby, it's the least of your worries. You got a queen of pentacles that's pissed off, angry, behind the scenes, jealous. they in a competition with you. You don't know her. You probably don't even give two Fs about these people if you know them. You probably left that community or left some situation, forgot about these people. They didn't forget about you because you know what star sees, baby. Can't nobody forget about us. When we step on the scene, baby, everything changes. It's a whoop. You want a star seed walk through? Drip. Okay. You cannot forget a star seed because that vibe be just vibing. That energy be energy. That vibration be vibration. Baby. Okay. Okay. But it's a queen of pentacles. Mad, mad behind the scenes. They haven't been able to stop you from moving forward, being happy, being content. They said, we don't took everything from him. We don't took everything from her. Why is she still happy? Why is he still happy? Why are they so relaxed? Someone may, they may have even sent somebody to your home to come and put you in an anxious state to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, I know where you live, okay? And be gone, okay? You can know where I live, but if you get in here, it ain't nothing but 911, okay? And if you make it in here, you best pray. 911 make it here before we get our hands on you, right? I don't know what people be thinking when they see star seeds that we're just feeble and just uh, just feeble, weak and feeble. And then you try and then you find out, baby, we can be this too. But we just choose not to reside in that energy. You know, everybody got that side of them. We can either be this, we can either be sunshine, sunshine. <laughs> Or rain. You pick your choice. It's your choice. What energy would you like? We reciprocate energy when we when we want to. Okay? We can be loving, caring, kind, nurturing, but you keep pushing it. <laughs> okay, you keep pushing it, you'll find out real quick. Oh, yeah, I think I made a wrong turn. You did, you did. Turn back around. Miss Queen of uh 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 Miss Queen of Swords. You may want to turn back around. Okay, you may want to turn back around. It's a queen of pentacles that's pissed off because you won't give up. You won't give up investing in yourself. You won't give up investing in your future, in your destiny. You won't stop building. You won't stop contributing to your life. I don't know what this got to do with this woman, but there could be something about a lot of money on the line. Listen, folks, whatever money you're trying to protect, you're going to lose because of that one woman or one man that keeps telling you all to do something. That is the only way you're going to lose that money because that is the one person that does not belong in an institution or community, whatever this is, okay? So maybe someone has told you all that another person does not belong, but it's really them that does not belong in this institution because they lack the skills uh, that they need for that position. Someone is a facade. Someone is a fraud. 
fraud that you know like the Ponzi schemes and all of one of those you know how they when they're when they're doing their Ponzi scheme and how they present themselves to you initially how do they come across very diplomatic very intellectual but all they're doing is giving you a speech right before they take you for everything you've got and that's that woman right there don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Did I say nothing? Nothing. Okay? Not a thing. Someone is so desperate to have something go in her way or to keep you out of an institution. She is paying good money or promising good money behind the scenes to have you sabotage. She said, keep going. It's going to work. It ain't going to work, baby. It ain't going to work. This is your future. You're trying to trap someone to prevent them from having some type of advantage in their life or authority in their life. This is the truth and clarity coming out about you. You're about to be exposed for every action you don't talk behind the scenes. She thought because she paid someone or they thought because they pay other people to do their dirty work. It will never come out. These are people that do things from behind the scenes. And they do it in, in subtle ways where you can never proof that it's them that's doing something but baby the cat is out the bag it's evidence out on these people they don't know it or they know it and they're in denial but baby the den denial is a river in egypt court case court case and the star seas baby about to be cashing out that star sea every first of the month you got my money Yes. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. You got my money? Yes. Good, 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 good. You about to be in debt for the rest of your life. There could be a man behind the scenes that's choosing to put an end to some type of ridiculous competition. I don't know if you had a bunch of women in uh, competition with you. You didn't know the whole time. You're just out here living your life being you and they're trying to be you. Is that true? If you're going to be me, who's going to be you? I'm taking I'm going to need you to be you. But you got a whole bunch of women that's been out here trying to pretend or prove that they are better than you. They're they're wiser than you. They are a better witch than you. And you're like, I ain't never said I was a witch. <laughs> I'm an angel. <laughs> that's why everything you're doing ain't working. It's not sticking. Because you're coming up against the wrong energy. Go do that to one of your fellow witches. Angels. Baby, angels. That's why your, 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 your magic ain't working. You see that? It ain't working. It's a failure because you're coming after the wrong energy. If you're a witch, a, a dark witch, go try another dark witch. But I guarantee you, you come after a light witch or an angel, you're wasting your time. These are people that be seeing you from afar. And they just look at you and say, poor little thing, thing. Bless your heart. You know how those country folks, they talk to the rest of us morons. And instead of them just telling us, you, you dumb as hell. They just say, bless your heart. One of those. Someone is pissed off. They, they, couldn't, they couldn't stop you. They couldn't sabotage you. They've been trying to sabotage your work for a long time. Just working over time. And they said they want to keep going. They want to destroy your energy. They can't steal something from you. They can't steal your work. But they're going to keep trying. And it's going to backfire. It has already backfired. They're already in something. They're going to keep invading your privacy, trying to. They're going to keep surveillancing you, all kinds of stuff. Like, these people are, have done a lot. And whoever this figure is that's amongst them, they know about everything. Someone has very high self-esteem, don't carry themselves with low vibrational energy, so they know exactly what these people have done or have been doing. But someone is very smart, intellectual, so they've known how to carry themselves amongst these people. So that they can learn them, observe them. So when it's the right time for their court case, they say, oh, baby, you say you what? You didn't do what? Come, 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 come. Let me read, baby. Let me bring your, let me bring your memory back to life. You don't remember? It's okay. It's okay. We got the evidence right here. Is that you sending that email? Oh, something I picked up on too. There's some lunatic out here that's been sending emails pretending to be a light worker. It's like going back and forth with, with themselves. They send an email to your inbox and then they log into your inbox and respond to themselves and they're telling people that it's you or they told someone that it was you. It was never you. <laughs> they're locking you out of your inbox, blocking messages. They have some type of third party in between. So you may not even be getting the messages that they're sending. You, you're not. I doubt you are. But someone is literally going back and forth with themselves. It's like they send a message to your inbox, log into your inbox, respond as you, 
basically they're communicating with you, but not really you because you're not participating. You don't know. And then they respond to themselves. They say, I just want you to know, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, da, 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 da. And then you're supposed to be the other one on the end, uh, returning their energy. Girl, da, 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 da. and the whole time you you don't know no, nothing about this. It's like, I'm not going back and forth with you. The heck you talking about? What you talking about? You logging into people email accounts and pretending to be them. That's how we do. Okay. Oh yeah, they're trying hard, trying real hard to sabotage someone. I don't know who this king of wands is. Baby, they're mad. You're trying to uh, work with someone. I don't know if that's your twin flame. You're trying to go to words. I don't know who this is. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, whoever you are. These people are upset that you want to go make an offer to someone. Oh, they are jealous. It's a woman in your energy that wants you for herself. She wants you to choose her. But you said no. And it got her pissed off. So whoever you chose over her, she has a vendetta against that woman. She is determined to destroy that woman. She had tried everything behind the scenes to destroy that person, uh, defame their character, slander their names and everything. And I guess it ain't working. You are still moving on. This woman is obsessed with you. You would think that you are the only man on this planet. That's called insecurity. That's called greed. This is someone that does not invest in herself, does not invest in nothing productive or invest in sabotaging other people because she, people because she wants to be seen as the better one baby the moment you decide to do something like that you already prove that you're not the better one i don't even know how to put that that's why you ain't getting something judgment is not in your favor because someone is still strong and brave enough to move forward and it has you all living in fear that someone is going to be victorious have this new direction in life Brand new passionate beginning. Someone is still hopeful out here stepping out on faith and everything. And that's how it's always going to be. Okay. You could have someone planning to come towards you. Be cautious with anyone coming towards you at this time. But something is over. I don't know. There's a competition going on that you didn't know about the whole time. Is that you don't even know the competition is going on. But you find out about the competition. And you, Baby, the whole mower of the competition, ma'ams. Ladies, they were competing with a star seed. It was to be yourself. You didn't know the whole time. The competition was to be yourself. And you've been out here just going all out, trying to destroy someone. That's all it had to do with the whole time. This man has been watching you all just make a fool out of yourself. If there was a competition going on for who's the best this or who's the... It was just for you to be you. Like This person was trying to study you all. For your personality, who you are on a core level. And you expose your hands. And you don't even know it the whole time. You're still going all out. Trying to force a man to be with you. But don't know the whole time you disqualify yourself. Lord have mercy. Thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. i see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.